I'd like to welcome everyone across the galaxy to episode 9 of the Castle Run Review. Clone Wars Clones edition of Custom Cargo, and a quick jump through hyperspace lanes. But first, this week some of you may have seen a picture of me palling around with Aura Singh. And, yes it's true, back in the day me and Aura used to hang out. But she started getting into trouble and we split paths. Today we're going to take a look at the third version of the Imperial TIE Bomber. The Imperial TIE Bomber is actually named the TIE SA Bomber. The SA stands for Surface Assault. And enemy pilots sometimes call these things dupes because of the double hulls. Although it's the Empire Strikes Back that comes to mind when seeing this ship, its first actual appearance was in the Marvel Star Wars number 15, Star Duel. The newest TIE Bomber is bigger and badder than those that have come before. This version has a firing missile in the front, and this one stays in until launched, so you won't have any random shots taken at you. A rotating dial on the back drops the six bombs from the bomb bay, and the highly detailed cockpit includes plenty of room for the pilot and has a removable ejection seat. The TIE Bomber is covered in superbly modeled details that give it an excellent likeness of the big screen version. This is a Walmart exclusive, so if your Imperial Army is missing one, you might still find one in the clearance aisle. of the arts, I'd like to say a special thank you to Lucas Clones and Tamer for having me on Custom Action Figure News. I had a blast. If you haven't heard the podcast, be sure to check it out. You can find the link on the arts and my pages. What figures get customized the most? Hmm, I think it's probably the clones. So why not have an all-clones edition of Custom Cargo? I made a lot of special modifications myself. <laughs> First up is a custom ARF Trooper by Sith Happens. This clone with the golden guns was put together by hollowing out an ARF Trooper helmet and adding it to a Commander Rex figure. Sith Happens says he prefers to create new characters versus representing existing ones. So he gave this ARF new squad colors using Citadel Hawk turquoise and decked his guns out with a coat of Citadel shining gold. For more from Sith Happens, you can go to the arts or check out his blog at sanitariumcustoms.blogspot.com. Our next clone is a battle-hardened looking arc from Flame Trooper. We saw this arc trooper during the Battle of Kamino in the second episode of Season 3, Arc Troopers. In the midst of the fighting, he was lost in action, but Flame Troopers brought him back to life with this well-executed custom. Heating and popping was used to do some part exchanges, then he was given a new paint job using shades of blue and silver. To complete the arc, he was thoroughly weathered to give him a dirty look. You can find more Flame Troopers customs around the arts. Remember Clone Pilot Hawk from Season 1, Episode 16, The Hidden Enemy? Well, Fiala Fernberg didn't forget about him. This is the Clone Wars Encyclopedia page featuring Clone Pilot Hawk. 
and this is Fiala Fern Brugge's impeccable custom made version. His weathering and paint make him look like he walked right off the page. But that's not all that was done. Starting with an oddball figure, Fiala adjusted the shoulder armor into the correct place and made him a chin hole to mimic the old helmet design. In the end, Hawk is so well represented by this custom that he makes the other pilots look like shinies. There is plenty of work by Fiala around the yards and at youtube.com slash user slash Fiala Fernbrug. I made a lot of special modifications myself. As always, thank you to the artists for letting me showcase their work on the show. And you can find links to their pages on my website, churla.com slash Kessel Run Review, and my Facebook page, Wookie Lover 1138 of the Kessel Run Review. Thanks for watching, and until next time, may the Force be with you. You can go about his business. Move along. This program brought to you by the Death Star. From large to small jobs, the Death Star offers a wide range of services that can fit your needs. From trash compacting to planet destruction, the Death Star can get the job done. This battle station is now the ultimate power in the universe. I suggest we use it. Get your free quote today 